and then we get some indicators in the world that show us cover points. And we can switch between cover points, which we just saw there. And once we have established ourselves in a good cover position, we can then fire upon the enemy. Now you may notice above the enemy's head there, there's a green indicator. Just tells us that we have a defensive bonus against that enemy because we found a good cover point. Another thing to notice here as we go into cover again is watch that quick slot bar at the bottom of the screen. You'll notice we have different abilities based on whether we are in cover or not. So just one more advantage. Nice flashbang there. And following that up with a special ability called Barrage, able to fire very rapidly with a blaster at multiple enemies. Now, of course, the smuggler has to have his own signature style if he's getting close to an enemy. So what do we have here? So, great look at our smuggler there, but we're going to move ahead and show you a third class and third planet now. Dallas, take it away. All right, now this, this class was just recently revealed um, at Gamescom. This is the Sith Warrior, everybody. This is the hotness. So, we've shown you a couple of ranged classes thus far, but you can't show a Star Wars game without a little bit of lightsaber combat. So, that's what you're going to see with the Sith Warrior here. He starts on the planet of Korriban. Again, if you played the original Knights of the Old Republic, as it sounded like a few of you had, you'll remember Korriban. It is a Sith stronghold. It's actually where they trained their young Sith, and this is why you're here. You're learning to channel the dark side of the Force. Now, you're going to actually be entering an ancient uh, uh, tomb here. These have been excavated numerous times, and you're going to try and recover some uh, very powerful artifacts down there. There's some pretty nasty enemies along the way, though, and you're going to have to deal with them in a way that only a Sith warrior can. And I just want to point out, who better to go into an ancient evil tomb than Deep Crow. Oh yeah, bring it Deep. There you go. So, you saw him do the force charge there. As I mentioned before, we want to make sure these classes feel like what you remember from the movies. And everybody remembers Darth Vader doing that when fighting Luke on the Cloud City in, uh, in Empire Strikes Back. And as a Sith Warrior, you want to close quickly. You want to charge in and do a whole lot of damage up close. taking on a couple of melee enemies, but we're also going to see what he does when he has to deal with folks at range. Obviously, he needs to be able to deal with that situation as well. Unless Jake just kills them that fast. We're going to kill one more group here, and you're going to be able to see what happens uh, when you have multiple enemies surrounding you. We keep talking about that. You can see he's actually parrying the guys behind him while he deals damage to the one he's targeting. This is all part of that heroic combat, the ability to take on multiple enemies and then do a whole lot of damage very quickly when you need to. Man, I, I just gotta say, that guy kicks ass. That guy kicks a lot of ass. Alright, well, we're gonna see a little bit more of the Sith Warrior here, so you haven't had your, your full fill of Sith Warrior, but we're gonna take a pause. That's right. We have a special announcement. Now we've got a full 